Hi everyone, welcome to this week's My Weekly CBS Fix. I hope you had a wonderful week. This week's video is dedicated in loving memory of Zelda Bas David. May this video be a memory for her soul. In this week's Parsha, Parsha's Bamidbar, Hashem wants to count us again. Hashem likes to count us. The Torah says, Se'uris Rosh Koladas B'nai Yisrael, count every head of the people of the children of Israel. And Se'u literally actually means to lift up, not count. And Nachmanides points out something very important, that the Torah says over here to, that there's, a, there's two meanings to the word se'u, means to lift up, to be uplifted, or rather to literally lift off. As the Torah tells us that when Joseph interpreted the dream, so he told the Sarah Tabachim, the one who was in charge of the meat room, that Paro was going to give him the old ax, and hack off his head, and that's what he did. And so it can be that his head was lifted off of his body. So the question is, what is the Torah trying to hint to us over here with counting? But counting, it seems like this double-edged sword. Now, one time a person actually told me that it's too hard. Life is too hard. It's got bills to pay. It's got everything to pay. And if it were up to him, he'd, he'd look for a way out. So I said to him, let me ask you something. Would you, would you like to be a cow? If you could snap your fingers and be a cow, would you be a cow? So he said, well, what do you mean? I said, well, take a look at the life of the cow. The cow's got a, he's got a great. He's, all he does all day is eat, sleep, and go to the bathroom. Eat, sleep, go to the bathroom. Sometimes maybe just to have a little spice to his life, he might change up that schedule a little bit. He might go to the bathroom, eat, and then sleep, whatever, just to keep things excited. And no bills to pay, no concerns, no tsar gila don't have something to worry about it when your children are going at night. Everything is good. Would you rather be a cow? So he said, no. I said, why not? No responsibility. Free and clear. You're good to go. So the answer is, is that as much responsibility as we have to be a, a cow that doesn't think, it's not worth it. It just doesn't uh, just doesn't do it for us. Now, the, what it, basically then what it's teaching us is the less responsibility we have, the less we are on the the chain of what's important to Hashem. The more responsible we have, the more responsibilities we have, the more important we are. And that's why not just enough to, of it's not just enough to be human, but then you're human and you're part of a community, and then you get married, and then you get a job, and as it is, you keep growing in your responsibilities. Like I heard from somebody once who oh, there was a kid who accidentally broke one of his mother's fancy dishes, and his mother gave him a good spanking. Back in the day, of course, it was permitted to give good spanking. And then about a week later, the chicken came into the house and, and also knocked over a plate, and the mother just picked up the chicken, put the chicken back in the coop. And the kid said to himself, it's much better to be a chicken in this world because my mom didn't scream at me. Right? Now, of course, eventually he got a little older, and he realized that his mother didn't expect anything from the chicken. But his mother realized how much potential he had, and he had to be careful, and he has a lot of, a lot of responsibilities. With great power comes great responsibility. With greatness comes great responsibility. And that could be the duality of this language. Count the head of every single person, but lift them up, meaning let each person know their value. Because to the contrary, if a person just goes through a life where they're completely aimless and, they're, and, and they don't have any direction in life, and they try to be as irresponsible as possible, they're actually lifting their heads off their, off their body. And they're basically saying they don't count. They're basically saying they're nothing. And they're not part of a whole. Not only is each individual great, when we as a nation are together as one, that's also one amazing thing. The power of that one that we, that we have to realize how great we are and that we can make a difference. So we can, when we can be together as one, as a nation as well, we can also make an amazing difference. What one person can make, what one person can do, can make a huge difference in a person's world. Remember, some, somebody asked a woman, a woman asked a rabbi once, why do, they, why do you have so many kids? How come, why do you have to have to, why in general, how come do people have so many kids in the, in the Orthodox world? So he says, well, how many kids does your mother have? So she said, well, I'm the youngest of seven. So he says, you see why you have, if, you see how important you are? You're important in this world. Each and every single individual is very, very important. We have to realize that we have that responsibility 
to be important and to do important things and to make a difference in people's lives. And if we do that, we live a life of wonderful achievement. And speaking of achievement, this week, next week and a week from tonight, is the holiday of Shavuos. And on the holiday of Shavuos, we read the book of Ruth. And if you look at Ruth's story, how one person, a non-Jewish person, a non-Jewish woman, she, when she became Jewish, ultimately she became the mother, the great-great-grandmother. She started the, the dynasty of, of, of Mashiach himself, King David, and Mashiach himself in the future. Here we go, one person who made it the great decision to be responsible and do the responsible thing. So we can definitely do the same thing, maybe not on that level, but definitely we have an inner greatness and we can all achieve greatness. So go get it and have a great job. Thank you for listening.